Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter, and welcome to another Mail Monday. Now, I have quite a few packages. I think I have three, and then I also have the 1UP box. But before we begin, I wanted to let you guys know that I do have a vlog channel now. So, if you see some of the mess behind me, the vlog actually explains everything. So, make sure you subscribe to my new vlog channel called Nerdy Jackie. There are two Nerdy Jackies. Ignore the one with the Toronto video that is the wrong channel. Make sure you go with the first video that is called IKEA and organizing my craft room. I can't wait to share my life with you guys. I will probably post maybe two or three times a week on that channel because it's just simply me doing everyday things. So you get to see me kind of, I guess in a, in a bit of a different light. So I hope you guys check it out, subscribe, watch, and let me know what you think. I'm, I love hearing from you guys and I will be responding to as many comments as I possibly can to try and maintain. So, to begin, I wanted to start, because I usually end with it, but I want to start with the 1UP box. And I believe this month, so Jan well, we're in February, but it was the January box, the theme is Legend. So, I want to look at the t-shirt because the t-shirts are usually super, super cool. So the t-shirt is, I want to look at it first, so let, me, let me look at it. Oh, that is so cute! So it is, I hope I'm not wrong, it's a League of Legend pug t-shirt. Look at that. It is super cute. This is adorable. I love the colors. Okay, so I have a gray t-shirt now because I'm wearing, I think, yeah, not I think, it's pretty pretty obvious. I'm wearing a light gray and I like darker colors, but I like colorful things, but I like darker colored t-shirts somehow. And then there's an absolutely adorable Deadpool. I had a, had a bit of a like brain fart. So I have a bit, a, a bit of a Deadpool. <laughs> so I have a little Deadpool and I know somebody who's going to absolutely Love this. I love Deadpool, but I know someone who's going to go absolutely way more bananas than I will. And the next thing I am keeping for sure. This is a really cool patch, but it's it's kind of a crossover. How about... Yes. So we have Link, and if I'm not mistaken, this is the Iron Throne. That is really cool. I love crossovers so much. That's why I love the t-shirts from... One up box. If you guys are ever interested in checking out one up box, check out the link in the description box below. If you do sign up to their stuff, you are encouraging my subscription with them. I am affiliated, so it's not no secret there. And then zero to hero coffee. Oh, that is cute. So there's a coffee, I guess, for like hot beverages. A hot beverage holder for Hercules. I hope I'm not like brain farting all over this. That sounds wrong. Like brain farting. Like. I hope I'm just not like all messed up. And then there's this Super Mario dog tag, which looks really cool. So you have all these different possibilities of dog tags. I am super old school, so I'm really hoping to get the 8-bit Mario. Otherwise, I would probably settle for, I guess, Bowser or Yoshi. Am I gonna be lucky? If you guys wanna see luck, you should really check out my first vlog. I got really lucky on a blind bag opening. So let me check here. What do we got? What do we got? I see a... Mm. <laughs> I didn't get too lucky, but I got this really cute one. I forget his name, but he's one of the um, Bows Bowser children. They're not really Bowser children, but they're... Hang on, let's put this here. So I have a card. This is Boss Sumo Bro. Let me have a sticker. Oh, this is cool because I have a collection of sticker now on my new desk. Ooh, and it's kind of silvery too. And then I guess here they just kind of have the dog tag. Oh, I could have loved. Oh, I would have loved Donkey Kong. Now I'm like, oh, I could have, I could have had this, or I could have had that. I would have loved the 8-bit Mario. I think for me, the 8-bit Mario would have been it. So these are all the options you could have gotten. So I'm gonna put them back in the box. Let's have this guy. I, I forget his name, but he's kind of wonky, but he's pretty cool at the same time. And then, oh, is this a? Oh, I should have opened this like sooner. <laughs> so we have a Valentine's Day card. I can save it for next year. Whoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall possess my love to and from. So I'm going to keep this for next year. And then there's the cute little legend pamphlet. So I absolutely love this, guys. If you're looking for a super inexpensive box, because 1UP Box is one of the least expensive out there, check them out. You will love it. They're pretty good. Next is a package from Tanya from Canada. So she's a Canadian, eh? That's what she wrote. And I have her information right there. 
which I will also put in the description box below. If you guys hear like this whoo sound in the back, that's the heater going on, so it goes on and off uh, every few minutes. Okay, so I'm going to start with her little baggies, and as I mentioned, I open everything first, but I don't look at it. And the first category, let me just double check, is cute. So the first, why my hat getting all weird? <laughs> so the first category is cute, and let's check the first one. So as you see, I just open it and I kind of leave it there. So let's see the first, oh, what's that? Oh, is that dumplings and green tea? Oh, the dumplings look so cute. Look at the tiny little eyes. Tiny little, how redundant can I be? So, <laughs> look at this cute little eyes. I love the face. And the board is actually, is it wood? No, it's a piece of clay. I actually thought the texture felt like wood. So we have a cute little thing here. And then, the next one is, looks like a salad. Is that a salad? No, it's not. They're little kind of, I guess, cacti? Little cacti in a white pot. The coloring on this is really cute. So this is really fun. I love this. And Tanya is only, she said she's young, so about 12, she wrote 12, 13, 14, so I guess she's hoping that it wouldn't take like a few years <laughs> to open the packages. And next we have, it's pink. I think I have a feeling that it is a cute little pouring hat. I love pourings. It's so cute. I'm not wearing my pouring hat today, but here it is. <laughs> so we have the cute little pouring hat. Can I, I don't think it'll sit on my nose. Or maybe if I balance it. <laughs> It'll take me longer probably to try and balance it than open all the packages. I have no grace. Alright, next is... Oh, oh, cute little toasts. We have a cute... Oh, look at the face. We have one with bacon and the other one with eggs. Perfect for a friendship charm. And I love little toasts. I find them just so cute. Well, if you put faces on anything, then they become really cute. So I think... Well, I mean, I think little faces on anything makes it cute. I mean, the proof is, if you take a poop, a clay, <laughs> clay poop, if you take a clay poop, and you put a face on it, it becomes cute. So, don't deny it. Oh, these are so tiny. Oh, that's really tiny. So the first one is a tiny, tiny turtle. Look, look how small it is. So this is my little fingernail, and we have a tiny turtle. It's so small. And... Uh, a tiny penguin. Again, super, super minuscule. This must have taken a long time. I find the smaller things get, the more time they take, for obvious reasons. Because you have to really focus, unless your hands go like, ah, I gotta get, and then you mess it up. So, that's, that sounds like me. <laughs> Next category is jewelry and bottles. And I saw this. We have some really well done chocolate chip cookies. These look so yummy. And this is her, her tag here, so Sugary Charms, ink. This looks really delicious. I want chocolate chips now. But we don't, we don't have dessert, so no dessert. And more chocolate chips! <laughs> so we have a jar of chocolate chip cookies. These look so good. You did so well on these. This looks really absolutely delicious. I love chocolate chip cookies. I can't bake, though. Even if you give me the... Um, but you know the ones that are already, I guess the Pillsbury. If you give me Pillsbury, just tell me to put it in the oven and take it out. And I don't even have to do anything. I'll still mess it up. <laughs> the next item is very reminiscent of summer, which is in, in high demand now because lately we've been having like minus, mm, on the weekend it was like minus 37 or, or something. That's Celsius, which is about minus 26, I think, Fahrenheit. So it was really cold on the weekend, and I think everyone just wanted to quit Canada. Next category is food. Ooh, and we have a delicious, greasy burger. I haven't had a burger in a while, but this looks so good. So I love the bun. The shading on the bun looks so good. It looks really delicious. And the next yummy nums is... Is that a plate of clams? <laughs> is that a plate of clams? I think... Or oysters? I think they are. I think they're oysters. I'm not quite sure. I, I am really bad with seafood. I don't like fishy taste, but... But... I love sushi. Because it doesn't taste too fishy. So I don't know if you guys feel the same way. Do you guys like sushi or fish? Or do you not like fish but love sushi? Because I feel like I'm a contradiction, but that's how I feel. 
Next we have, I think this is a strudel, or some kind of pastry. I, I call it strudel, but I don't know if it's, it's a, if, if it's a strudel. Ah, it looks so good. This whole food section is, is making me hungry, but I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat right now. Next bits are two delicious looking pizzas. These pizzas, pizzas. <laughs> these pizzas look so good. I'm going to probably give these to my Ninja Turtle toys. So I'm going to be putting them in my display case because my turtles love pizza. Which goes without saying. And then the last one in this bunch is a cute little tart. I love, I love tarts. Every time I say the word tart, I actually taste it in my mouth. I don't know why, but I just seem to feel like I taste the word tart. I know some people taste words, but some words I, I do actually taste them. Last one, it says save for last. So I wonder what it is. Let's see. So, okay, so there are two things in here save for last, and I did cut them open, but it is. Hmm, hang on. Maybe if I see it this way, I. No, it's a pixel something. Maybe I'm holding it upside down. I can't quite make it. I feel so bad. I can't quite make it up. Wait. Is it this way? Is it E? No, it's not E.T. Guys, help me out here. <laughs> I am so... I feel so bad. I'm trying to recognize what this is. So, I'm apologizing way ahead of time because my brain is so fried. If you guys see in my vlog how exhausted I am from school things, so you'll, you'll understand that my brain is so fried. Oh, <gasps> no! Oh, here's a cute Michelangelo, and he's biting on a pizza. Guys, he's biting on a pizza. If that's not cute, I don't know what is. So we have a cute little Mikey. He's adorable. I love turtles. I love Ninja Turtles everything. So cute. Look at that. He's, he's got a real good grip on this. He's got a pretty good grip. And that is it for Tanya. Make sure you guys check out all of Tanya's information in the description box below. And let me prep the next package and we'll get back. The next, the next box is from... I got super excited, so I opened it because I hadn't recognized the names on the front, but as soon as I opened it, I was like, Ah, I know you! It's from Marinara Kara. Here. I'm sure you guys know her. She's on Instagram. She makes the most adorable things ever. Make sure you check out her Instagram. I absolutely love her stuff. She also sent me things last time I had my mailbox open, and I know I was struggling with this name, and she did tell me how it's... Oh, it's pronounced from like Roxo, Roxo, and I think she said it was Rojo, but I I could be completely wrong. Kara, you're gonna have to fix <laughs> you're gonna have to fix my pronunciation again because I have terrible memory. But I'm super excited about this package because she sent me something, and then there's a bag that was sent by her boyfriend who also has a YouTube channel, and oh he has an Instagram too, so he has a YouTube channel and an Instagram. So I'll link both of their information in the description box below. I think I'm gonna have to check out his Instagram because he makes custom amiibos and they are amazing. So, as soon as I open the bag, oh my god, oh my goodness, this is so cute. So, she's amazing at drawing by the way guys. So this is kind of like a galaxy cowboy cat. That's the best description. <laughs> so we have a galaxy cowboy cat. I love this print, it's gonna go on my board. I know I've been sitting here often, but I'll have to figure out a way to get my board or some of the pictures to show as much as possible. And this is so cute. I absolutely love this. You choose such great colors. And I guess she's kind of like a fire nymph, a fire imp. I could be completely wrong, but these are absolutely gorgeous prints. And I'm going to be putting these up because you are just so amazing at drawing. So I can't wait. I really want to open what she sent. The first bag, so I'm going to go through the... Stuff I already saw. So we have a bag of necklace um, strings, <laughs> some necklace strings, and these are absolutely, this is really cute. So I'm gonna have to make some necklaces eventually. And she also sent some resin extras, and I can see some stickers. So I'm gonna pull those out. I'm not gonna show you all the stickers, but she did say tap the light. Where's the light? I think this is the light, right? Hang on. <laughs> so we have some lights. I don't. I'll have to figure out a way to integrate this into something. So, oh, we have some cute stickers. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I wanna sort out the stickers so just I can look at them real quick. These are super cute. I have a lot of cute little kitty heads. So I have 
white kitty heads and black kitty heads with little bow ties, sparkly bow ties. I've been really wanting to make some more resin pieces, so you guys are right up my alley with stickers. I love I love sticker flakes, I love Japanese stickers, and they're just so cute. Well, Korean stickers are pretty cute too. They're weird, but they're cute. I'm just Oh no, I dropped one. <laughs> so gonna, oh, I dropped another one. <laughs> I'm just going to put them here so I don't drop any more. Now, 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 now. Now, what I want to do is I saved the best from her package for last. So, first of all, Mermaid Cat. Yes, please. Yes. Mermaid Kitty on the box. I'm super excited. I want to see what's in there. Ah, so what's in there? Why you guys, why you guys got to do the suspense for me? Oh, one of her cute little mermaids. Oh my goodness, they're so much smaller than I thought. I really thought they were like this big, like... A whole finger big, but this is nowhere near a finger big. Look, this is like one part of my finger. She is adorable, and she does have an Etsy. <gasps> the details! You guys can see, like, there's even, like, silver strands on her hair. This is such an adorable piece, Kara. These are so cute, and there's even texture. Look at that, there's a gradient and texture on her tail. She is precious. <gasps> Wow. Oh, she's so cute. I'm going to have to put her somewhere safe because once I put, well, on, on my co toy collection slash charm collection desk, uh, my cat Splinter went on it and he pushed a lot of things off. Thankfully, he didn't push off my Technodrome, which is really huge but really fragile, but he broke my Groot. So I was very upset with that. So I'm going to make sure that this door is always closed and I'm going to put this on top because it's only happened once. But once is all it takes. So I'm going to keep her super safe and then a resin super shiny resin piece of a kitty is he eating ice cream he's eating ice cream or a parfait or a strawberry sorbet something of that sort this is super shiny i love Let's see if you guys can see here these are on the outside i love these textures this is super shiny i love this circle it's usually rare to find circle molds that are shiny that are this small so it's kind of a bit of a challenge oh Oh, this is, this is seriously a really cute piece. It's sometimes hard to actually make really tiny pieces that look good because you don't have much space to work with. But look at that. The glitter and the background on this is super perfect. This would make a cute little bag charm. I actually ordered a bag from Cute Berry Charms because, because cats. <laughs> so I'm going to be putting a lot of cute stuff on it. I can't wait to, to decorate it. Of course, this box is staying with me because the art is cute. Maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel this off or try to get this off and put it on my board because I love cats and mermaid cats. <sighs> Why? Why are cats so amazing? All right, next. So from the same box, we have Connors. Um, he said he made a toadette. So a toadette amiibo. I actually don't own any amiibos. So this is super exciting. I'm going to open this. No way. This can't, this can't be. No way. So, look at that. How epic is this? So he made this custom Toadette Amiibo. I'm going to have to test her out on my Wii U. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I got so excited, I'm choking. This is amazing, Connor. You're so good. Guys, make sure you check out his YouTube because this is really cute. This is so well done. That's crazy. That's really crazy. You're super talented. You're mega talented. You can make some really hardcore money. People are always looking for custom amiibos and custom collectibles, so you have a really good hand at this, and I really want to try this out. So, thank you so much, guys. So, I'll leave the information in the description box below. I have one more package to go through. Before, before we go on to the next package, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that Connor drew and kind of drew over, which I thought were hilarious. And then, as I was turning this around, look at that. But... The drawings in the back of this are absolutely hilarious. He's super talented. So this is so funny. Okay, then there's a, there's a tumbler too, but I, this face is cracking me up. This is so nasty. It's, it's nasty, but in a good, funny way. You know, kind of like uh, Adventure Time. Their facial expressions. Wow. They're, I can't stop looking at the butt. You guys are looking at the butt, aren't you? The butt is funny. So I just wanted to show you guys these ones. And then the next package is from Angelina, who is 12 years old. And Angelina sent a 
bunch of cute little charms. The first one is a cute little J for Jackie. And I love the colors. They're just, just, they just pop hardcore. And then we have a turtle stack. <laughs> that cup, is that a cute little bow? So each turtle has a cute little bow. It's a turtle stack. Turtles are they are adorable. <laughs> Turtles are adorable. <laughs> Turtles are adorable. And you just put them on a stack and they become stackably adorable. Mega adorable. Just adorable. Turtles are adorable. So turtles are super cute. And then there's a recreation of my drumstick ice cream. So delicious. I haven't had, well, obviously not because it's super cold in the winter. Do you guys have ice cream in the winter? Sometimes I do, but I think I would rather have ice cream in the winter on a hot brownie. That's good. And then there's a sliver, a slice, a slice of watermelon. That, everything here just like sounds like summer, so. Turtles sound like summer, ice cream, watermelon, Jay, doesn't sound like summer, but. And she also made some lipstick. I don't, mm, I don't really wear lipstick, but I don't know. How would I look with red lipstick? Oh wow, that's super pigmented. So you guys are gonna have to tell me. That's actually not a bad shade. I don't really, I don't, you guys know me, I don't really wear makeup. I feel like a makeup channel now. Maybe it pops too much. I don't know, now I feel like everything is off. <laughs> so she made some red lipstick, which glides on very easily. I'm very distracted by the way, I feel like. Might as well put some on my cheeks, right? So I have, I know you're not supposed to, but. Am I looking like I'm blushing? <laughs> Guys, don't ask questions. Just, it's happening. It's happening. How do I look? <laughs> do I look? Oh my god, I feel like such a weirdo right now. I'm wearing like a hoodie and blush. <laughs> just looking at the screen. This is terrible. Not terrible because this goes on really well. By the way, my review on your, on your, on your, uh, on your lipstick is that it goes on really easily and the colors are really pigmented. So I'm saying that I look terrible because I, could, I think I could get used to this. It's just, it's probably because I'm very, my complexion is very much like wheat since us Egyptians are very wheat colored. I think it might be the wrong tone for me as blush. Oh, stop guys. <laughs> I feel so weird with this. So you've seen me with makeup now. All right, so I wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for taking the time to send me something. Remember that my peel box is closed. I will not be opening it until I go through all the packages and then I'll consider how to open a new one. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Also, please make sure you check out my vlog channel. I'm mega excited about it. I'm probably going to post another vlog sometime tomorrow or Wednesday. So I'll keep you guys posted. Make sure you click on the get notifications so you get a chance to see because I don't have a a schedule for it. I don't I feel like I can't take myself seriously with all this stuff on me. Um, yeah, make sure you click on the little cogwheel to get notifications anytime I upload because I don't have a set schedule for that channel. Until then, I will see you guys on Thursday, sooner on my vlog channel.